welcome back to From Surviving to Thriving. Um, today I'm going to do a small vi video on a fish trap, and basically that would help in any um, survival scenario that you um, would not be able to fish like with a, a line for fish. And usually that's not the case because um, you can get string uh, at a lot of places, oftentimes you have string on you. Um, but just in case there is, this trap can use natural cordage that you can make from um, a tree in this forest. In I'm pretty sure most of the eastern woodlands, you um, you have basswood trees, which the inner bark of that can be um, boiled and woven into natural cordage, and you can use that. For for this trap. This is basically going to be um, a snare that uses a bent sapling and when the fish bites on, on the bait it sets the hook or it, when the fish bites on the bait um, it would set off the, the trigger and, and it would set the hook of the fish and obviously you would have a fish. Obviously unfortunately you will need um, a fishing hook and string for this, but the string can be supplied with this stuff. Um, if you peel off the outer bark, or if, if, if you peel off the inner bark, it creates nice string that is really, really strong. This could definitely hold on a nice size bass. And this is the Tree it came from. This is called a basswood tree. Um, it grows um, quite large and quite um, frequently in this area and in the eastern woodlands. So um, that's a good source of strength. Also, you can make fishing or a natural fish hook from a thorn if you just tie on. Um, Sorry, your car. If if you just tie on um, fishing line or some sort of nylon string, I'm you. I'm I'm not going to use the fishing line anymore because that because I don't have have enough of it. But this kind of trap can can be used with this stuff. Um, technically, this can also be used for fishing line, but I'm going I'm going to use it for for the fishing trap today. But. Um, if you just tie this onto a thorn or tie tie it onto some some other like bent piece of um, metal, oftentimes you can find scrap pieces of like spokes or um, some some sort of thin bar um, metal. So there you go. That's how 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 you be completely natural with this trap. So for this kind of kind of trap, you're going to need um, a fork stick. A toggle stick, a toggle stick, and a bait stick. Um, I have already done one or done a trap this way before, but it was not to catch fish. It was to catch um, just small game um, in the head or big game in the foot. So I'm, I'm going to do this the same way. There is a ton of other traps you could do or you can modify for a fishing trap. But this, um, but I'm just going, going to choose this one because this one seems um, to be the most, um, to be the easiest that that there is. I'm sure there is a, a easier one, but I don't don't know it. Um, so stick with me, and I'll show you. And I'll show you that right now. Okay, so for this trap, I'm going to, going to be using my more of sweet knife. That I sell on, on my website. There's going there's going to be a link to that below. Keep in mind um, all of the profits from the from the website from from the products that are sold on there. We will go to charity at Christmas time. I'm I'm, I'm going to donate all that to do um, various like cancer ch charities and um, and thing and things like that. So please make sure you um, support. Um, charity so but anyways um, I'm just going, going going to be using this and um, so that sh shows you that this is a quite easy trap to build um, 
but basically you're just going to need a fork stick and a tackle stick and a bait stick and some nylon string or just um, normal, normal paracord um, but sorry for the the noise the background notes it's the the river it's quite high right now Let's see so but um, just wanted to say that I'm just using a knife it's quite small too so I can't baton it but um, yeah so now on to the trap okay so um, sorry for the the, um, the the noise that as before I said the that is is, is the river you want to place your trap by the by the bank because um, you, you're gonna throw your line out um, in, in, into a pool or um, some so, some sort of body of water, and the fish is gonna pull on it, and obviously that, that'll set off your trap. But um, basically, you just cut off your fork at how, however long you think. Um, is a good length as, as as you can tell there's more sweet knife is really sharp it just cut cut through this um, very easily it's a great knife just make that into a point Good enough. Okay, so here's a good spot. Make sure that it's positioned right for your um, for your sapling. See my 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 sapling's right there, right here, and that the string will come down from here and go to go and go to my fork right there. Okay, so that's in um, pretty well. So now you just need your your um, small toggle stick, which can be about that long, and then obviously your um, your bait stick that the fish would pull and set off. And you just tie a string from here to the sapling and your trap is set beside obviously the hook the the, the hook and line. It's quite a lot of force. It's gonna be hard unfortunately. Dang it. My um my twig snapped. Try number There you go, there is the There you go, there is the trap. I obviously still have to add the fishing line and the 
um, the fishing line to here so that when the fish pulls it sets it off but also to the, um, the actual string so that once the trigger sets off the um, the, the hook gets set when the toggle stick um, flips back and the sapling is bent up here gets set off great what is that shoot right here that's, that's the sapling and the string comes down and the string is attached to the to the small stick and is attached to the bait stick and that would flip around once the um, this is set off and this stops it from um, tur turning back around the fork and um, making the, sa the sapling set off Okay, so now once we have this whole trap set up, um, we would tie the line to here and to the string so that it, um, it pulls this, and, uh, but once this sets off, it also gets pulled back by the um, sapling, which is bent right here. As you can tell, it's not bent too far, but this is a really thick tree, um, so it should be enough power to, to set a hook. I'm, I'm actually almost positive it is, um, but that's basically going to be thrown into that, um, to, into that pool, and with a running river like this, it's actually kind of good, but it, it should, it should be a small bit calmer, um, because, so, so the fish actually bite, but you just throw the hook in, and then the, the current keeps, keeps it taut, and, and so it, it doesn't, doesn't set um, without tautness and that and that would um, obviously make it not set correctly and, and the fish would 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 get away. So make sure that's done right. Now I'll tie this on to both the um, I'll tie the hook on to both the the trigger stick and, and the toggle stick and we'll see how it works. Okay, so um, that worked quite well. As you can see, this the string is right there, and it goes out to that pool over there. Um, if 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 I, if I were to try and set it in this one, it would um, have just gotten to the bank. But with this, it is out around the middle, and it's actually like waving some too, so it actually um, helped with the with the trap. But I tied it. From there to there, all the way up to the sapling, and we'll see how it works once you pull on the string um, like a fish would when it's trying to bite off the bait. So, more. It actually worked well, in fact. Let's try that again. I'll show you, um, I'll have my hand wrapped around it to show you how much pull it, it has. That's quite, I mean, that's that's uh, enough to set a hook. Um, so with so with big fish, this could definitely um, definitely work as, as a trap. And also, obviously, this this same kind kind of trap can work for um, for small game for the actual a, a body trap or big game for a foot trap. So. Um, Thank, thank you for watching this, this video. Make sure and visit 
my website that sells all kinds of survival gear and all the profits will go go to charity um, there will be a link in the in the des in the description of, of, of below thanks for watching and I'll see you next time bye